Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I will be sharing my WAN approved taco recipe and trying out a really cool cocktail smoker. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm doing is gonna be chopping up the lettuce that we have and an onion. Uh, I like putting these in my tacos, Juan doesn't. But I took out like the really, I don't know, bitter part of the lettuce. And I saw like a little hack of like hitting the lettuce hard on the table or something to get it out. I just cut it out because that was just the easiest thing for me to do. But I'm chopping up the whole thing and there will be a lot of leftovers. Um, I'm gonna probably eat it throughout the week with some chicken salad. So that's why I am cutting it all and um, washing it all in this video. I'm also cutting up this onion. Again, there's gonna be lots of leftovers here, but we can add them in eggs and stuff. I'd rather not like cut as I go because that's just a lot of extra time spent uh, when I don't have it with a little one. And then I'm using the salad spinner here. Um, I actually, you know, like drain all the excess liquid and then actually just kind of store it in my fridge in this container. I don't know if it's like meant for that, but it keeps this lettuce really nice like all week. So I'm gonna continue with that. It works for me. Then I am cooking and draining five pounds of ground beef just because when we had bought this, we threw it in the freezer without like packaging it up into smaller portions. So I figured I would cook all of this, season it with our taco seasoning, and then about half of it um, is gonna be frozen. And then like part of the remaining will be used this evening. And then I'm gonna store some extra in the fridge as well. So it will be used, but at least this way, like we have some in the future frozen for future meals. But I'm just draining off all the fat here. I'm putting it in like old glass containers and then I can throw it away. And once it is cooked and drained, we're gonna use this McCormick taco seasoning mix. And you just mix like the corresponding amounts of mix with water and cook it with your meat and let it like simmer for you know enough time for it to not really be super liquidy but just so that you can push the meat aside and it doesn't run together really quickly so if you're planning on using this like recipe for a party and you don't want to be super stressed the day of, you can actually cook and prepare and season the beef like a day in advance and then store it in the fridge and assemble your tacos like the day of the party. So you can kind of save time and stress by taking care of this step ahead of time. And this honestly is probably like one of the most time consuming parts of this technique for tacos. So I really like how uh, if you want to, you can do this like in advance and not feel like you have to get it all done, you know, right before dinner time. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of prepping the tacos with meat and cheese. So I'm just kind of spreading out just a thin layer of the meat and then topping that off with some like shredded Fiesta blend cheese and folding the tortilla onto itself, creating that taco, you know, form and just prepping all of the tacos this way. What I will be doing is microwaving them for about 30 to 45 seconds before frying them in some hot oil. And this just kind of makes sure that like everything on the inside is nice and warm and melty and gooey uh, before it you know goes in the oil. We don't want it to be just sitting in the oil trying to melt the cheese or anything like that. So that's why I am just prepping all of the tacos you know, ahead of time and as I'm frying them up, I'll be you know, microwaving the next plate just to kind of make the assembly period go by a little faster. And on this day, we actually had some like leftover corn tortillas from a previous get together and we just, I really didn't see myself using them. So I thought, hey, I have the oil hot, let's go ahead and make some fresh chips. So I cut each of the little, you know, circular, corn tortillas up into quarters and then I drop them in the hot oil until they get you know nice and hard and crispy top them with some salt and they are nice and warm and it was just you know a great little side dish but here again like I said I am microwaving the tacos 
I think it probably needed like about 45 seconds to get to the texture uh, that I like. And then I drop these guys in the hot oil and let them cook so that they get just like a nice golden brown. When they come out of the oil, I go ahead and place them just like on a paper towel and set them aside. Uh, people can then come and grab them, open them up, and fill them with whatever they want. Occasionally, we get the flour tortilla like create a big bubble, so I just kind of pop that so that it doesn't like, you know, make all of the contents pour out of the taco. But I like to add the onions, uh, lettuce, some guac, sour cream. You could add salsa, um, really whatever you want. And these are just super delicious. And then my brother and his wife were coming over uh, just to kind of have fun, celebrate his upcoming birthday. And they made this awesome salad that I think, you know, needed recognition because it was just really beautiful. <laughs> but when dinner was over and before our Cinnabon dessert, I thought that we would go ahead and try out a fun new product. So I'd like to thank Fukal for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this cocktail smoker kit to try out. And since I usually don't drink and I'm breastfeeding, I thought my brother, the birthday boy, would be the perfect person to sample the results of the kit. It comes with a wooden smoke infuser and lid, a handheld fire torch, a cleaning brush, a spoon, five foil pieces for like a hookah use, a metal filter, and four different 100% natural flavor wood chips of apple, cherry, pecan, and mixed wood. I really like how nicely everything was packaged. I think it would definitely make like an elegant gift for someone. So before you use this, you want to make sure that you pick up some butane fuel, which you can get for just a couple of bucks from Walmart, and fill up the torch. Then you can prepare your drinks. My brother just combined some simple syrup, whiskey, and some bitters, which I believe makes an old-fashioned. Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. Uh, but once the drinks are poured, you place the wooden smoker infuser on top of your glass, Place about one scoop of your choice of wood chips in the filter and then light it on fire. You really want to get like a nice big flame. You want like everything to be burning and then cover the flame with the lid so that the smoke doesn't escape and then goes actually down into your drink. We found that torching the chips a few times really gave the desired effect. Then you want to add ice if you desire and drink responsibly. My brother and his wife noticed that each sip seemed to become a little bit more smoky each time, so they suggest stirring the drink, like at the beginning, to better incorporate the smoky flavor in every sip. Even if you are a non-drinker, this product may still be for you. The smoker can be used to add flavor to meat, salad, cheese, barbecue, or any non-alcoholic drinks as well. Not to mention the torch itself can be used independently for a variety of dishes or desserts. Overall, we really liked not only this product, but the experience as well. It was really fun to like see the smoke and all of that stuff. So if you would like to get one of these for yourself or a loved one, I will place the link to the product down below in the description box. Again, I'd like to thank Fukal for sponsoring this portion of today's video and making my brother's birthday celebration extra special. Brian, I love you and I'm so blessed to have you as my brother. You are generous, funny, thoughtful, a great dad and uncle, and an overall great guy. I wish you the best this upcoming year. For those of you watching, I'd like to thank you for supporting my channel. Let me know if you give this taco technique a try down below in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.